Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm now delighted to be joined by Nilo Sawar, Regional Vice President of EMEA at DBT Labs. Nilo, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Oh, thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you for having me. And what a fantastic energy here in the room. The excitement is all around us here, Nilo. At DBT Labs, you are on a mission to empower data practitioners to create and disseminate organizational knowledge. From your seat, what trends are you noticing across the marketplace, and how is the team adapting to meet the evolving needs of your over 4,600 customers? Yeah, it's a great question. There are really two trends that we're seeing that we think are significant to highlight. The first one is around teams that don't have deep SQL skills, but have really deep understanding of their business, wanting to be able to transform that data to make an impact on their respective organizations. So we have customers come to us and say, hey, can we get DBT for these teams? Which is a fantastic recognition of the power of DBT. And then the second really is about the data readiness towards AI, and that's a transition from AI high to AI proof. So how do you actually make that a reality? And we see that the power of DBT Snowflake and the native app coming together actually accelerates that for organizations. I love that. I'm so glad you mentioned your native app. I had the opportunity to sit down with DBT Labs not too long ago, and we discussed your recent Snowflake native app with integration with Cortex. Now a few months since the release, what have the takeaways been? It's been really fantastic to see, uh, starting in the US, a lot of our customers adopting this, which has been really great. And we've seen that same trend here in EMEA. And then the user feedback has been fantastic because our users love having a consolidated view where they can track their Snowflake and DVT assets and also have an opportunity to see a consolidated view of their billing and invoicing, which is really important to them. Great to hear, sticking with current events in the AI data cloud, DBT was recently highlighted as a leader in the Modern Marketing Data Stack report. What does this recognition mean for the team and what advice would you like to give to the audience on how to properly build out a well-rounded data strategy? Well, it's fantastic to get this recognition and really it's a validation of what we're seeing with our customers. I think marketing data is quite laborious. It comes from a lot of different sources. And a lot of organizations have really made an investment into their data strategy. So it's really important to them to really realize the benefits of that. So it's fantastic to see them do that with DVT. And with regards to your second half of the question, a little uh, harder to answer it in one sentence, but one of the things that we've announced in our US conference this week is the analytics lifecycle development. And it's very similar to the software lifecycle development. And the idea behind that is to bring that same sort of rigor to data uh, transformation and analytics uh, work streams. So think about it not just from a product perspective, but holistically from a organization and people process perspective because what we want to think about and try to avoid is creating either data, data silos or to not make that data accessible to the wider organization. Great advice and perspective, Mila. We're currently at London at Snowflake World Tour. The excitement, the buzz is, is clearly all around us. What are you hearing and why are you so bullish for what's next? I think uh, this space couldn't be more exciting and it's a real privilege to be talking to organizations that are thinking and are real, really spearheading how they're going to be doing their data and how to make impacts for their companies. Um, it's durable, the problems. So we're really sort of continuing to see us being able to build further on what we're already doing. And one of the things that we're really focused on is sort of doubling down on the future of the one DBT. We wanna make data accessible to everybody and we wanna do that across as many regions as possible without our practitioners and users having to worry about whether which cloud it's on, what database connections are available, which version am I running on? Great to hear, always putting the customer first in everything that you do. Before we wrap, as you look out on the coming months, what's on your agenda and any predictions for what's next for DBT? Yeah, we're super bullish about the future. And I'm just being today at the Snowflake World Tour and other events that we've been to, the energy is so real and the buzz is amazing. And one of the things that we're super bullish about is to bring data to more people, more teams across more geographies and make it accessible for all organizations. I love that and exciting next chapter for DBT. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.